Welcome into another episode of The Blitz. Hi, I'm Billy Byler. I've got Wayne Stats with me. Justin Williams, our Columbia County expert here as well. And uh, guys, it's not the regular season anymore in Georgia. It's not the state playoffs yet. It's kind of a high school football purgatory that we're in right now this week. But uh, there are some region play-in games, I guess you could say, to, to determine what the state playoffs are going to shape up to be. Wayne, that's not in every region in the state where that's happening, but it is in Region 3, AAA. Talk to us about kind of what is going on this week. Yeah, well, obviously the main one is, you know, Thompson Burke uh, playing for the region championship. They're crossing over. They've got the one and two seed, so even if they lose, you're still a two seed with the home playoff game. So that's a big thing. Uh, and then obviously we have the three and four that have to be decided. That's when you have the three and one playing four and, and the other. I'm sorry, the two and one playing three and the other, and then vice versa. So you have Waco, even though they're a two seed, visiting Grovetown. Is that Grovetown side the region hosting uh, <laughs> this week's games? And you have Butler and ARC going uh, to decide the reason for it. But, um, you know, Waco, I think on wins, it could be interesting. Okay, so we got the crossover of yeah. the sub-regions playing each other basically for this seed. Yeah. Okay, Justin, it's kind of similar as we look uh, one classification um, up. Uh, we're here at Lakeside High School. They've got a game and they're playing uh, for state playoff positioning here. How does that work and what does this mean for Lakeside this week? Okay, so Lakeside has Brunswick, the three seed from the other side. Um, say they win, uh, they would get either the three or four seed. Um, that's determined by Lakeside's a two seed. If the two seed wins in the other two, three game, then the three seed would be the team of the one seed that actually wins that one versus one game. And that game is Statesboro and, and uh, Ware County. So okay. State, Statesboro wins, Lakeside wins, the other two seed wins, Lakeside would get the three seed. It's really convoluted, but okay. it all works out in the end. So, so Panthers fans are also Statesboro fans this week, I guess. It reminds me of the World Series where you're cheering for the National League because you get home. And the All-Star game. Yeah, okay. So crazy stuff going on, but it makes for very interesting drama here uh, late in the season. Also drama is our power poll that we uh, vote on every week in the, the top 10 teams in the area. There's a little bit of change now. North Augusta with that offense is slipping. They're slipping in the power poll. Lincoln County's moving up. Check it out right now. All right, guys, lightning round time, okay? Uh, I'm going, it's, it's, yeah, it's the end of the season, so this is it, bonus round. I'm going to just name off some games. I want real quick, just five seconds, give me a real quick kind of analysis, and then give me a winner, predict the winner for it, okay? Wayne, you're first. Go ahead and give me uh, Burke County Thompson. That's the big one this week. Yeah, I'm going to Burke County in a close game, but their defense is a little bit better than Thompson's. Okay, uh, Swainsboro at Laney. I like Laney, uh, you know, home team. Well, Swingsboro's playing a little better, but Wildcats are too much. Big region game, Warren County at Aquinas. I like uh, Aquinas, you know, Brent Douglas and, you know, other people are doing it to go for others, not just him, but I think Warren County trying to slip, slip a bit with all the distractions they've had. Okay, good. Justin, you're on the, the clock now. Let's go uh, Lakeside, how, how they're going to do. Um, a 4-5 and five team versus a 5-4 and four team, probably both better than the record. Uh, I'll go Lakeside in a really close game, two okay. good teams. Washington, Washington County at Grovetown. Grovetown, once they hit their tough part of the schedule, has really had a tough time uh, offensively. Um, I'll go Waco. They're, they're too good. How about Greenbrier with uh, everything that's going on this week over there? How are they going to do? Um, that'll be tough. I mean, Wayne County's really good. They lost a tiebreaker to not have a chance for the state playoffs. Wayne County probably will, uh, will roll in that one. Okay. South Carolina side, Aiken at South Aiken, rivalry game. Aiken is probably the favorite in that one, uh, even though both teams are kind of struggling. Aiken may have an outside chance to make it the playoffs still, so that's a big one for them. Uh, North Augusta, Orangeburg, Wilkinson. I think North Augusta rolls in that one. Maybe that we see that offense come back a little bit. And then Rich Spring, Mineta at Wilson Elko. First round of the Class A playoffs in South Carolina. I think Wilson Elko rolls in that one. Also, Fox Creek, Southgate. That's probably the, one of the better games in, uh, in the South Carolina side this week. I'll give the edges to Fox Creek there. That's all for this week. See you next Thursday on the Blitz. All right, guys, glad you came out. We're going to have a good game today. Uh, let's, let's play hard. Sportsmanship on three. One, two, three. Sportsmanship. Set. Man, come on, you're terrible. All right, we got Cheetah Wide, H Zip over to the flats. All right, and then we got Jaguars Hot Sprint Ride, okay? Come on, what are you waiting for? Let's go, come on. Hey. Come on.
Come on, we gotta catch that. Get your head around. Come on. Where's he going? <laughs> you don't have shoes? How are you gonna play without shoes? Where's Justin? Thank <laughs> you.